this is Canal Street Broadway um, and this is really where you can see the tunnel traffic, the brig traffic, um, all the turmoil that happens on this one location. And remembering that Canal Street, I mean that name, Canal, this was once where there was a body of water and it is the runoff of the, the only fresh water source of water in New York and that was in the 1800s and it was so polluted and it was called Canal Street. Uh, I'd like to um, sh show you a map of uh, the Trade Center down here. This is uh, the fallout of the dust. Uh, this is September 16th. This is by remote sensing satellite of the dust that was created by the collapse of the building. This shows the spread of the toxics. This red point is right where we're standing, Canal and Broadway. And Chinatown is to the east of us. And as you can see, we're fairly close to the Trade Center site. And uh, below Canal Street right here is the victim's exposure zone. So if you can uh, show that you were exposed and then you have health problems, uh, compensation was available and health care. We're talking a lot about air quality today. And trees are excellent air filters. <clears throat> And they actually improve qual air quality in a few different ways. So one way is that they actually act as physical filters to particulate pollution in the air. So the like particulate matter that comes out of car and truck exhaust especially actually sticks to the surface of leaves. Um, but as we saw, there's not a lot of trees here in Chinatown. And compared to other neighborhoods, both in Manhattan and the outer boroughs, this neighborhood is severely under treed. It has lower canopy coverage, so meaning if you looked at the neighborhood from above, the percentage of um, area that's covered by leaves is a lot less. So here we are, um, we're at 70 Mulberry Street, and again, this is part of the old section of Chinatown. So within 70 Mulberry, um, you've got Chen and Dancers, you have um, the original Chinatown manpower. The, the building is an old school building. This is PS23. And actually, the Museum of Chinese in America is a lot of the, um, you know, the memories, the paraphernalia, the stories from the graduates of PS23 um, is part of the archives. So let's say we were able to plant a tree here on this street, which may or may not be possible for different infrastructure reasons. Um, do you think that that tree would have an easy time just spreading its roots and growing? Probably not. Um, it's a tough life for a tree in a city. Encouraging people in a neighborhood to give that help to a tree, so to do things like watering the tree, cultivating the soil, putting down mulch to improve soil health, um, is really beneficial for the tree and actually makes a huge difference in the um, mortality rate of young trees. And just um, the act of creating gardens and getting your hands dirty is really therapeutic. And not only that, it, it brings people together. You know, I like to kind of describe it as a symbiotic relationship, that people spend time caring for trees and that improves the health of the trees, which improves um, you know, the environmental health of the neighborhood, which embetters the lives of the people that are caring for the trees. That's a playground for PS124. When Con Ed um, shut down the east, uh, Upper East Side power plant, they tripled the capacity of the power plant on 14th Street and 13th Street. And uh, because of that, that means this whole community, we're about a little over a mile from there, um, got hit with more pollution from a fossil fuel plant. So, uh, as compensation, the government, uh, Con Ed gave uh, the community a few million dollars to do air pollution reduction activities except for the plant. Uh, and as part of that, um, Community Board 3, which is this community board, uh, funded a project of asthma free school zone who had been working with schools and the problems of school bus idling. When trucks idle by the schools, those air particulates actually penetrate the school very quickly. And they worked with my former institute, um, had air monitoring uh, testing in the buildings and outside, and found out within minutes the idling around here would actually penetrate the buildings because these are not new buildings. 
the trees planted along this perimeter um, are called London plane trees. Um, so I definitely wanted to point this one out to you because this is the most common street tree in New York City. The interesting thing to note about this tree today, especially on this walk, is that this is a hybrid between an American sycamore and um, an Asian species of plane tree, the oriental plane tree. These trees are really well adapted to the urban environment. So not only can they tolerate a lot of the um, poor soil conditions, they're really good at um, compartmentalizing disease and decay. The other reason that it's a great urban tree is actually these trees are better at catching particulate pollution than any other species that we have in New York City. I just can say something about um, Confucius Plaza itself. Um, it's particularly notable because it is the first um, public housing, public funded housing project that's 44 stories and is completely, really primarily for Chinese Americans. So it's very significant in that way. And we were going to go inside the Confucius Plaza and there were some small uh, plantings that had memorial signs in there. And I, I feel like that's something that's so important for us as humans is that it's a way when you have a loss to continue on with something living that you can continue to take care of. And this is a universal um, theme.